Welcome back to How Does It Run. This time we're going to be looking at Control. Uh, this is one I've been wanting to tackle for a long time now. Um, as you can see, I always start with everything maxed out at 1080p, and this is what we get. 11 frames per second. You can see the motion blur is on, for sure. Um, it's also V-Synced because that's how I play. But the goal of these videos is to always get the highest visual fidelity with the highest possible frame rate. So we want to find a nice balance for our old aging hardware here. So you can see here, everything is maxed out. Uh, everything that we can turn on is maxed out anyway. Um, <clears throat> so if we go by what usually works, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna knock this down to 720p just because on a 15 inch screen, to me, 720p is not horrible looking. It is acceptable enough to go ahead and see what we get just by dropping the resolution. So we went from 11 to 17, 18 frames per second. Still not great, but we're we're getting there. It's a significant improvement. Now, obviously we're gonna be aiming for 30 frames per second. This game, I don't think we're gonna get anywhere close to 60. So we'll shoot for 30 and then lock it down uh, to get a nice, smooth, stable experience. So now that we're at 11, went from 11 to 18, 19. Um, let's see what else we got here. Far object, LOD. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead, just instead of having to knock all these down one by one, I'm gonna go ahead and knock it down to medium and see what we get. Just to see what kind of improvement we get. So there you go, immediately going from high to medium at 720p instead of 1080p, we are at 30 frames per second ish <clears throat> so we've got like high 20s low 30s we're getting there we're still not quite where we want to be this is um i don't know this might be playable to some of you <laughs> but you got to remember we're just running around in empty spaces right now as soon as we get into combat and any physics are going on like for example watch i'm going to shoot one of these uh forklifts here and watch anytime yeah down to 25 anytime there's physics going on and alpha and all that stuff going on in the flames. So, we're still not quite there. We're getting close. Much closer than before. See there. 25, 26. Still not what we want. So, I'm going to go back into the menu here. We're going to go back and we're going to go... Let's try... Volumetric lighting seems... Usually that's a big, a big graphical hit. And you know what, I'm going to turn up, first I'm going to try texture filtering, at, uh, texture filtering at high. Because I would prefer to have that as high as possible if it doesn't hit our frame rate too hard. Uh, it looks like it doesn't, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave that on. Alright, so now we have nice, nicely filtered, decently high res textures. This is, I left it at high. I do have a 4 gigabyte GPU in this um, laptop, so if you have a 2 gigabyte variant, you may want to consider medium. I'd probably stay away from low, if at all possible. Um, however, let's see. Let's drop, let's drop volumetric lighting to low, because usually that's a big performance hog. This is also, I'll get to that in a second, but an interesting setting in this game. Okay, so going from volumetric lighting from medium to low, Puts us right over 30 FPS into the mid 30s at times, low 30s for the most part, as low as it gets. That's pretty much where we want to be. We want to be at least, I'd say, 10% over your performance target on average, if at all possible. So 33 would be fine, I would say. Because then we allow ourselves a couple, three, four frames to drop. And it'll still be at 30 or higher. Oof. Maybe not. <laughs> We're still at like 23 when a big explosion happens. But I don't know what we can change that would actually affect that. Um, that might just be a CPU limitation, unfortunately. I don't think we can really do much about that if that's the case. However, let's see here. So we've got... Uh, I mean, you could try lowering LOD. I don't know how this affects frame rate. Not really at all. 
I would assume it does more in open areas, big open areas, but still nothing really happened in there. Let's go, let's see back to medium. This is the one I was going to talk about next. The MSAA option is interesting because usually MSAA is a big performance hog. Um, what I found in this game though, it's not that big a performance hog. You got two frames out of it, if that. And as a result, you're going to get more shimmering and a, a less stable image. See all the shimmering there on the ground? And if you turn it back up, go back all the way down here, go back to 4x. Eh, it's not that much better, but it's still less shimmery than it was. But yeah, it's not that big a performance hog is my point. It's interesting that that's the case because usually MSAA is just really, really expensive. Um, but not here. I'm going to knock it down to two uh, just to have something there. So let's see. Now we have shadow filtering and shadow resolution. Shadow resolution is usually uh, decently expensive. But yeah, none of these settings are really going to get you a ton of performance back. It's uh, Let's see how these shadows look. I'm trying to find an area that's lit so that I can actually gauge the quality of the shadows since that I've dropped since I've dropped them. So I mean that's still fine. I would say I, you're talking about you have to get this close to be able to even pay attention to the shadows really. You know, it's it's one of those things where at least the shadows there. <laughs> We're talking about such low end hardware running a modern game right now that. You're just thankful to get the experience, you know what I mean? That's what you're aiming for, is the experience. So, um... It's just not drop below 30 FPS, if at all possible, right? So... That said, here we are. At 30... What do we have? Upwards of 40 FPS now, in some spots. Um... Let's see if we can get into some, uh... Combat here. Okay, so now we're into some combats here. Let's see if uh, this frame rate will hold up. Guess we'll still see some depths below 30, but not too often, hopefully. Where are these guys? Come on now. I'm looking for some people to fight, and they give me like two guys. Oh, I can't aim. <laughs> I think I need to lock this frame rate down. It's, it's around, I mean, it's around 30, but it's dipping below now. Not too badly, though. And this is a little bit of an open area. Not really, like, wide open, but... Not as wide open as it'll get, but still. A lot of reflections and things going on at once. Oh, hi. Good to see you. Uh -oh. Okay, well I was able to dispatch him, which is good. <laughs> it's a good sign when you can win a battle that your frame rate is actually playable because you're playing the game. So, with these settings, um, there's probably a couple things more I can tweak here just to get a little more stable, um, but I, I don't know, like, I could turn reflections off, but then you lose a lot of, you know, it, it gets rid of a lot of, the, a lot of the character of the game. Like, see, a lot of the metal and stuff, I don't know, it still looks reflective, but it's not. But I'm not sure, like, how much did I gain from that, you know, like, I was just at 31, 30, now I'm at 30 again. Like, did it really change that much? Uh, there's a, the low uh, quality volumetric lighting at work there. You can see it's all artifacty. <laughs> Looks like you're watching a compressed video. Um, but you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do, folks. This is old hardware. 
All right, so um, turn this back on so we get. So maybe there's not much of a difference actually. <laughs> I just feel like you lose something if you turn off all the reflections, you know. I just prefer them on, especially if they're not affecting performance that much. Then you got uh, shadow resolution. Drop that to low. See if that does anything. Not really. And that's sort of an unfortunate reality. Yeah, but look at the shadows now, right? If you put them back at medium, you're not losing that much performance. Yeah, it doesn't really make much of a difference visually or otherwise, to be honest with you. Go to, let's see, LOD, maybe, possibly, I don't know. No, maybe a frame? Not much. And that's kind of the point you get to, is you start messing around with different settings, and none of them really give you much back, you know? Um... Volumetric lighting's the big one. You could turn screen space reflections off. I might give you a frame or so back. But now you see like none of the metal is reflective, practically. So if you go over here. Like, none of the stuff right there in the doorway is reflective anymore. This isn't reflecting anything anymore. Which, honestly, you may prefer because the dithering on the uh, low-res variants of these screen space reflections may turn you away. You may not, may not like that, but you do get that glossy look, you know? Which is, I think that's kind of nice, because it just gives it that little bit of sheen that makes it look more, you know, more metallic. And sells it a little better. But your mileage may vary, you may want to just turn it off and get an extra frame or two. Um, but that's all you're going to get. And for my money, I just leave it on. But, it's up to you. So anyway, this is about where we're going to get it, I think. Unless we drop resolution further, which would probably be the only other way we could get... Uh, you know, more frames per second, so, um, and if we want to see what that looks like, just, just for gits and shiggles, let's go to resolution, let's drop that bad boy to 960 by 540, and, uh, now we're running at essentially a PSP resolution, or a PS Vita resolution, and, uh, there you go. See, now we're up in the 40s, low 50s. So if you really want, you could probably honestly, and <laughs> this is going to be funny, you could probably honestly go from there to high as a baseline and then knock down, like, volumetric lighting. And, I mean, you could probably leave shadow resolution high and then put uh, or medium I don't think shadow resolutions between high and mediums that big a difference um, but yeah you could my point is you could probably knock all, a lot of settings back up if you just go down to 960 by 540 and then you're gonna be above 30 FPS so that's an option too if you want to play with like higher settings um, it's gonna look real blurry <laughs> which again you know I'm on a 15 inch screen that might be an option for me. That might be something I consider because, you know, now you have all the effects up a little higher. The fidelity is a little, a little better. Resolution is, you know, lower, but in the end, overall, it might look and play better at the lower resolution. So it's nice to have the option, you know. Um, but there we go again already, dropping below 30 FPS. Let's see how this holds up. Uh, 
up, down to like 25. Even here, I think it's just the CPU. The settings are just too much for the CPU to handle. Like high, high LOD, things like that. They just hit the CPU no matter what resolution it is. Because it's still drawing everything. You know, that's the problem. Um, that's what's making it struggle. It's not, it's not the resolution they're being rendered at. That's a GPU thing. So let's try going back to what I had it before. Let's go back to 720, but then let's also go to medium as a preset. Let's see, then I had it at uh, high. Uh, we can drop shadow filtering. Biometric lighting. And we'll leave it there and see how that goes. So yeah, we're around 30. 20, high 20s, low 30s. But the point is, hopefully we won't sustain those big drops that we just saw. And um, might want to just lock it down here. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to open up my rivet tuner. Hold control, click add. You can see all this crap that's open here. You see I'm using DS4 windows for my controller. But if you go here, just leave the check mark next to control. And then it'll add it. And then all you have to do is frame rate limit 30. Back to the game. And now you can see that line up in the upper left corner is just a nice flat 30 FPS. And this is what we came here to do. It just looks a lot better and feels a lot better. Okay, so let's see how this holds up now. I've uh, changed my loadout so that I have the machine gun instead of the pistol. Oof. So yeah, this is a big challenge for our uh, little system here because we have a big open area here and combat going on with a lot of physics going on right now. You see all the physics flying off. Um, so we're like mid to high 20s. I can only imagine what this would be like right now if it actually was still at the settings we started at. 1080 with everything in high it would probably be... I mean, it was already a slideshow, so I don't know what... What, what, what gets worse than a slideshow? Uh, PowerPoint? <laughs> I have no idea. But that's what it would be. Um, as it stands, though, I'm able to actually decently take these guys on if they're not sniping me anyway. It's kind of dirty. Let's get out of their sights. Whoa, who's over there? You, you dirty rat. Trying to get me from the side. They will flank you in this game like it's a Call of Duty game or a Halo game or something. Okay, so... so I can't take these guys out. Again, though, you can see it's, it's playable. It's not the best, obviously, but this is kind of an extreme scenario because most areas aren't this open and don't have this kind of stuff going on in such a big area. So... Since this is kind of a, an outlier, I think for the most part, most combat scenarios are going to be pretty smooth. Because, again, this one's playable, even though it's pushing our little laptop to the extreme here. you so yeah it's not too bad honestly um, I mean it'll get you where you need to go at the very least you can complete the game and that's really all we strive for at times is just good enough so again let's go over the settings that I've uh, landed on here and seem to be pretty acceptable for what purpose we were shooting for. Uh, 
we have gone down to 720p from 1080. V-Sync is engaged. You can turn it off if you want, but we're going for stability, so I'd recommend you leave it on. Um, quality custom because we went and changed everything from medium. Quality at custom because we started at medium and then left everything there except text resolution is at high. Filtering is at high. Shadow filtering and volumetric lighting are both at low. And everything else is still on. Medium. So, MSAA is still at 4x. You can knock that down to 2. It may give you, an, may give you another frame or so, but I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, just keep it on for the extra fidelity. So, there you go. That should get you in the ballpark of a playable frame rate with control on the old Lenovo Y50 laptop. Thanks for tuning in. appreciate your time, and uh, let me know in the comments below what games you would like me to test out and see what, uh, what the frame rate's like on it and see where we can get it and find out how does it run. <laughs> Just like saying the name again. It's like the old game shows. And say, how does it run? So anyway, thanks for tuning in, and uh, until next time, uh, see you guys.